Welcome to part two of our Responsible Data Management and Data Security training. Now we're going to talk about some tabletop exercises, which are hypothetical scenarios that I want you to consider, not because I think they're going to happen to you, but because I think they can help you clarify what you need to plan for and what processes you can put in place proactively to prevent a major data incident. So we're going to go through a couple of exercises and then I'm going to stop and ask questions. And I think you should make some notes to yourself or pause the video and discuss with your teammates about what kinds of um, proactive changes that you could be making. So let's talk about scenario one. Either your organization or GFIMS has uncovered evidence of modern slavery that is embarrassing to a nation state. In order to discredit us, hackers have compromised the email accounts of a principal at your organization. That means your CEO or the leader of your organization. The hackers are threatening to release the emails publicly in order to discredit our findings. So here's some discussion questions that you can either consider and make notes on or talk with your colleagues about. Whom do you need to notify? What if anything, do you communicate to your donors, to the media, to your beneficiaries? Who is going to be responsible for communicating on behalf of your organization? How will you confirm the validity of the threat? If the attacker releases the emails, could you quickly discern which were authentic? What mitigations could have prevented or minimized the seriousness of this situation? Some more general questions I'd like you to consider are, which business processes were tested by this event? Who was the threat actor? Is that realistic for you? Which assets were impacted? And what controls could have been put in place that would have made it difficult or impossible for this situation to unfold? Tabletop scenario two, a large ransomware event is quickly infecting computers around the world. It's affecting businesses, government assets, and other organizations. You are affected. All of your online technology assets are quickly encrypted. The attackers are asking for a small amount of Bitcoin to release the decryption keys. You have two days to decide whether to pay the ransom. Here are some questions that you can make notes on or talk with your colleagues about. Who do you need to notify about a data incident in an emergency? Are you able to contact them quickly? Who's responsible for decision-making in responding to this attack? Who can you contact for advice on responding? How can you recover your mission capability quickly? And which data assets might be irretrievably lost. And again, I'd like you to consider in this scenario, which business processes were tested. For instance, do you need to designate a, a person at your organization who's going to take the lead on an incident like this? Who was the threat actor? Which assets were impacted? What controls could have been put in place and can you start implementing that now? <laughs>